What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing some street tacos on the grill, smoking them outside, and we're going to be doing this pretty baby right here. This is a beef cheek, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Matter of fact, I know it's going to be good. Stand by for more. So here we go, got the beef cheek right here. And for the sake of time, I've already did some trimming on some of them. They usually come in about a cryo pack, about two or three pounds per pack. And there's a lot of fat to trim off. So I did leave one and I wanna show you right here. This is the beef cheek. This is the cheek muscle on the cow right here. And what you really gotta do, and you can leave some of this on here, but what I like to do is get some of this silver skin off as much as I can. This one's been trimmed pretty good. As you can see, some of the other ones, they look like that right here, okay? So let's go ahead and trim a little. And I got a little sharp knife right here. I'm gonna just trim a little bit here and there. Get some of this silver skin off. Boom, right there. And then, basically, I'm gonna get this trimmed up, speed up the video a little bit and then we'll see what it looks like after. All right, so we got this all trimmed up now. Got my little fat to the side. You see a little fat I put off. So about four of those, three packs, I mean, that's how much fat I pulled off each one. And it usually, you gotta split them like this. Good meat that's exposed right here, that's what we want. If I open this, you got more meat in there. They don't always come pretty like this. So let's go ahead and get some um, rub on it. And what I'm using today, I got my brisket rub. It's got some coarse salt, black pepper, and another little season in there that I put in there. And then I got some meat church fajita rub. So I'm gonna hit it with a base first. Go ahead and open this up. And this is going to give it a good crust. There you go, just like that. You want a good crust. I'm going to get a bark on there, just like brisket. And it's got the same collagens in it, just like a brisket would. Put some of this Meat Church fajita rub on here. You want to get inside of it too, guys. You want flavor busting out of this. And all this fat that's in there. It's going to give it some good sticky stuff when you mix it all up and break it up. And I'm going to do, once I get that like that, I'm going to do the rest of them that I got here on the side just like that. And we're going to let them sit about 15 to 30 minutes and let it sweat a little bit. And we're going to have to go outside and get that smoker ready. All right, guys, it's time to pull out the big guns. And what I mean by that, this 400,000 BTU, what is it called, guys? The Grill Gun by Grill Blazer. Thanks to the guys over at Grill Blazer for sending this to me. I'm going to be doing a review on this later on this week. That way I can show you how it works, correct ways to use it, and what all it can be used for. But until then, let's go ahead and get this smoker started. All right, guys, so we are here at the smoker. We're going to be using the Summit today, probably my favorite smoker. And I got rid of my other um, Weber right there. So you see the tables in this place. Let's see where we're uh, rolling at right now. About 275. That's where I want to be. No more than 300. Got my Cyber Q. Got the old version, like I said, but it works still. Holding the temp down today. Going to be um, using some oak today to um, put some smoke onto these beef cheeks 
and let's go ahead and get this on so let me explain what i did you know i put these um charcoal in there i'm using some bnb charcoal today and i'm using the grill gun by grill blazer this thing runs about 400,000 btu went on and got that lit so it man i'm telling you this thing lights real good and i want to thank these guys out at grill blazer for sending me this i'll be doing a review soon um on the grill blazer so let's go ahead and get these on boy 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 look at them they already been sitting go ahead and open this bad boy all right so i want to i got these put on a rack as you can see they're sitting here on the rack and that's the reason because some of these parts on here are small so i kind of made them into their own little balls if you will say some of the meats in there a little loose maybe separate but this will help me take it on and off the smoker. So let me get these. Go ahead and see if I can maneuver this while I'm holding the camera, guys. Right there. And we're going to close this for the next two hours or so until we get a good bark. Just like that. Let it come up to 275. Go enjoy us a beer. Go watch these cowboys play. And we'll come back after the check-in. There's no reason. Like I said, I want to mention one more thing. There's no reason to spritz these. They got enough fat content, and we're going to be putting it in its own juice, but I'll show you that in a minute. All right, guys. So it's halftime. The Cowboys are winning. Let's see. We got about 275 right there. It's reading about 279 on the Cyber Q. And let's see what these boys look like. Boom. And that's the color I'm looking for right there. Didn't have to spritz these or anything, baste them. Look at the seasoning on those jokers right there. They look real good. So let's go ahead and look over here and see what I got. I got my cast iron Dutch oven. I'm going to use to make this braise in. I got about three cups of beef broth. Or you can use what I did, three cups of hot water, some beef bouillon paste, and one yellow onion, and three cloves of garlic. So what I want to do first, let's go ahead and get these boys put over here inside this cast iron Dutch oven and then I'm gonna fill this joker up pretty good some of these might be kind of stuck not really nice bark on there is what we wanted and that's what I got proud of that let's go ahead and get this rack off set it to the side now I'm gonna try to lift this cast iron pot up with one hand there we go put it right in the middle all right, and then we want to pour that broth all over that. Get some onions in there, get some of that. Get all the onions put all over that. Let's go ahead and put a top on. Shut this thing off. There we go. And then we're going to let it braise for another couple hours. I'll come back here and periodically check it, maybe once an hour, once every two hours. Shouldn't take that much longer, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this temperature up and let it come above 300 right here. And we'll get this joker pulled off after we figure that we're ready. All right, so you know what? It's time to check these out. Let's just open the smoker still hanging right there where I want it. Now, what I've done, I came in here and I threw my grill grates on. I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. Let's go and open the pot. See what we're looking at. Boy, boy, boy. Look at that. Nice barbacoa. Let's go ahead and take the temperature. I just want to show you. Look at that. That's ready. Let's take some other ones down here in this. That's about right, guys. I'm going to let this keep going. And while that's going, they're ready to pull. I'm going to show you over here. We're going to make some tomatillo salsa, but we're going to smoke the joker for about 30 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and put this on. Get them all. Uh-oh. Almost dropped it. Almost fumbled. Just to let you guys know, my Cowboys beat the Chargers. Field goal. A lot of mistakes. But, hey, we got the one. We got the win. So we won. <laughs> Get these all right here. You're going to run out of room a little bit. Come over here and put some more on. And then I'm going to take this onion, put it back there. 
Give me another. I forgot another one right here. Take these jalapenos. Put it right here. Careful not to burn yourself. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and put that top back on. Let's, you know what? Let's go in here and take a good look again. Ooh, that looks good. Now, I did forget to do something. So hit it with a little canola oil spray. Or you can use duck fat or you can use whatever you like. I already sprayed the grates. Should help it out brown a little bit. Put my top on. Go ahead and close my lid. I'm going to bring it up. Open my vents. Bring it up to about 300, 325. And I'm going to go here. Go ahead and change my temperature on here. Put it at 300. Uh oh. There we go. No, let's go to 325. We want that to cook good. And set it. And it should be ready to go. Next thing you know, we'll come out here and we'll be um, taking it off. And I'll show you inside how we're going to pull this. We're putting everything together. So we're back inside. I'm ready to get this lid off and show you guys what we're working with. Let's take a look at what we made. Here we go. Boom. Man, that looks so good right there. Look at this piece right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this to the side. Take one of these bad boys off. Show you how good this breaks apart right there. Look at that. Man, that's just like beef ribs or something. Just break all that up. So all you got to do. You can make it as small as you want. Look at the collagens, the fat that was inside of that. That's why we trimmed it up because it would have been a lot of fat. Okay. Boom. That looks good like that. And let's take a look at what we got over here. I got some uh, some of that tomatillo salsa that I smoked, some white onion, some cilantro, and I got some queso fresco cheese right there. Now, we're going to probably add some sour cream and stuff, but I'll show you all the basics. Let me go ahead and get these gloves off because I want to make something. Go here and get me a little thing take your tortilla right here get you some of that good old meat on it mmm boy 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 look at that get you a good amount of meat come over here get you a little onion put on top of that okay gonna get you some of that uh tomatillo salsa put on that some cilantro A little bit of cheese. Let's go ahead and take a bite and see what this thing working with. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Probably gonna take some of them limes to squeeze it over this. Wifey made me a margarita. Gotta flush it down, you know. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Perfect. And here we are. Now this is officially barbacoa. That's how they call it. This is how Toothpicks does it. I'm gonna shred up the rest of this, make some more tacos, get everybody eating. Stay tuned for next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Toothpicks.